Hello, I'm Ginger Jesus. This is Nerd Foo. Incomplete data will breed incomplete results. If you exist in a culture with a taboo about looking inside dead bodies, you are not going to know what is happening inside of the human body. It is a simple fact. Now, there were a lot of guesses and a lot of theories about what was going on inside the human body by our ancient Tai Chi masters, but let's just start with the fact that they were most likely wrong based on the fact that they didn't actually know what was going inside. They tried to feel the inside of their body. Good luck with that. But let's discuss one aspect of where they where they were wrong and where they were right and that is the idea of filling our muscles with chi because it's easier than you think it is well the concept at least it's actually very hard to practice but it starts with a simple concept and that is our minds can control our muscles we can tense our muscles with our mind, and with practice, we can relax our muscles with our mind. Now our muscles have resting tone, and that is just the tightness of the muscle during your daily life when you're not using it. The, the amount of tone required to maintain structure. And tensing our muscle past point of tone is easy. Almost all of us can do it. Tense, relax. Tense, relax. But relaxing that muscle past the point of tone is more challenging. It requires thought, concentration. It requires sitting still. It requires hard work. It can be done. But when you're doing it, when I do it, when especially the first few times I did it, when I felt my muscles relax, it felt as if my muscle itself was filling up. And I realized that I was having this sensation, not because my muscle was in fact filling up, because it was not, but because the nerve endings that ran through the muscle bellies were moving further away from each other as the muscle relaxed. And not knowing how the muscle worked, it is easy to assume that my muscle is filling up. And because our muscle relaxes with our breath, we train it that way. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, relax, tone, relax, tone. It is incredibly easy to assume that our breath is filling our muscle when our muscle relaxes past the point of tone. It is a wrong assumption, admittedly, but it is an easy thing to assume if we are unaware of muscle contraction theory. And this is actually kind of something interesting, and it's the kind of thing that I've been discovering as I do more and more of the, this uh, type of exercise, is now I can connect with that muscle and relax it faster. The more I train, the easier I can connect to the muscle and relax it. And the idea of being a Tai Chi master is being able to connect with somebody and relax your muscles instantly, therefore creating a very different environment and the aggressor's body won't know how to handle it. They won't know how to attack somebody who is relaxed and forthcoming. When Tai Chi is done right, it looks fake. And honestly, I think that's why. If you want to know what it feels like for a Tai Chi practitioner, try using your martial arts on a five-year-old you don't want to hurt. And you'll have kind of a basic concept of the, of, of the idea of fighting with complete relaxation. But then learning how to relax further at the point of impact or at the point of connection. But much like tensing your, body, your mind, much like using your mind to tense your muscles. This one takes practice, hard work, dedication. And I think better explanations.
I'm Ginger Jesus. This is Nerd Foo. Be good to yourselves out there.